Hello folks, welcome to another Lando show. And um, the way it looks, after all these years, they're going to tear down a historical landmark, the Houston Astrodome. Ever since I was a little boy, they're going to be tearing down memories too, for a lot of people. Ever since, the first time I remember going to it was an Astros game, back when I was six years old. And um, we, we took my great aunt Grace, who at that time was in her mid 80s, to the Astros game, and it was pretty cool. Me and my pops, and what was before, and my brother, my mom, I don't know why, I don't think she went, but it was me, my pops, and my great aunt Grace. We went to the Astros game. Well, they, they won it tore down. And um, I hate to see it go. But, um, you know, I. Their decision has been made. Uh, they've torn down a lot of great buildings and stadiums. The Texas Stadium, that's gone, been replaced. Um, just letting it sit there until they decided what to do with it. It's been going to, it's been going to waste. It's been going to crap. It's been falling apart. But um, I guess it's just time to move on from it, folks. It, it, the, the biggest thing they should have done, but they rejected it also, turn it into casino. Turn it into something useful that generates revenue, money, and creates jobs. And, um, you know, they're destroying history. Well, I'm going to miss it. Really am. But they're auctioning off whatever they can. Once they implode it or do whatever, it te tears down. Sell as much as that can. I want to try to go to Houston and get a piece of it, maybe, if I can. <laughs> anyway... Moving on to some other better things, you know, that's sad. I remember also when we were, we went to the Astrodome, it was during the Oilers game. Back when they were, we got tickets when they were in the playoffs, and they were really scoring high with, with Bum Phillips in charge. And that's another thing they should have done there. They should have had Bum, the late, great Bum Phillips funeral there in the Astrodome, where he made it all happen. We went there at Oilers game anyway. I think it was 1979. And um, that's back when the Houston Oilers had their theme song. Where the Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers. And they kept singing that. Every time they, got, they, got, they scored a touchdown, they played it. And at the end of the game after the Oilers won, we were up in the stands. I think we had the midsection. And when the game was over, everybody was leaving. This drunk guy, he must have been in his 60s or something like that, could barely walk, had both of his family members next to him. He said, oh, Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers, we're going to have you for breakfast or some shit like that. <laughs> that was funny. We'll never forget that. <laughs> and we go, like, oh, that drunk guy, that drunk guy, that drunk guy. <laughs> making a pity the fool, making an idiot of himself. Drinking everybody, everybody would also collect the Oilers cups, the plastic cups that they would leave there, and um, you know, that's going away. I, I remember forget when they had a giant net over the, you know, the field seat, and every time somebody would make a home run or a foul, I don't remember what it was, the ball would go up, and there was this hole in the middle of the net, and once that ball got to the hole in the net, everybody just clop, piled onto each other. <laughs> uh, there's one that we went to in 1989 when I worked at Bennigan's the managers treated us out to a game we went there on a the bus with the keg on it and he treated us all the drinks because we worked so hard we won we won the cleanest restaurant contest or some shit like that and um a lot of fun and um well that's it it's said and it's done I'm gonna miss it till next time